Greetings and salutations, all. Mark the Warrior here. How's everyone doing? I'm doing pretty well myself. I forgot to turn on my audio again and lower my own volume again. Brilliant on my part. So you might notice that I have one extra Cosmic Seed. Or Cosmic Star, whatever you want to call them. I had to reload my save state because there is actually no way off the moon as far as I can tell. So yeah, that got reloaded. I went to course two, got the last star. That is recorded. I'm going to edit that into the VOD, so that'll be edited in right now. Hello everyone, welcome to this quick little recorded segment prior to the VOD. So, I found out where the Course 2 star was. It, it's the black box right there. I don't know how I missed this black box, but I did. And I feel silly. I was so focused on the flying ability that I completely missed this. So let's do this real quick. Rematch with the hog. What? Where's the hog? Oh god, there's the hog. Okay. I don't know what the hog is doing. Uh, Hog? Hello? What are you doing? Did he break already? Oh boy. Okay, I see it. Okay, I understand now. Oh, okay, so it's when he makes the uh, little gunshot noise, he's comes at you fast, but only in a straight line. And he's not really that much of a threat, and I just have to lead him into the, uh, things. Okay, this is easy enough. This is actually very easy. I'm wondering where this act- where this song actually comes from. Like, is this from, uh... Oh, I, I thought for sure- Ah! I thought for sure I was going to get to wall jump there. I did not get to wall jump the way I thought I would. Okay, this guy's actually not that hard at all. I was expecting worse considering how rough the hog was before. But yeah, he's a total cakewalk. Okay, so I'll just have you go over here, and then I will have you come all the way over here. Okay, his hitbox... I don't know if that was just bad aim on my part, or if his hitbox was just a little bit bigger than I expected it to be. Either way, this is what I have the falling, the uh, invisible hole thing for. It's so I don't... Invisible. Oh my god. The uh, anti-fall-off-the-stage badge on for us to cover me when I do things like this. Uh, it's a very powerful badge. It's getting a lot of use out of me. Or I'm getting a lot of use out of it, rather. But still, very good badge. I'm glad I got it. Absolutely was the correct choice for what to buy. There. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, getting him out of here is going to be a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? There we go. Okay, he's out. It's a good thing that he can only move in straight lines. If he could if he could actually turn himself, this would just be brutal. I think. It might actually be a bit easier if he could turn. Just because I wouldn't have to line him up as well. I'm surprised that actually worked. I thought he was going to end up a little bit to the side of that one. Good. Three. Good. And he's done. And the hog falls. Nice. He's actually dead. Oh. It seems I didn't have to go over here. There are actually more targets than you need, so I probably could have skipped those ones over there. Interesting. Interesting. I didn't need to, though. 
Anyways. With that final star gotten. I will see you guys back at where the stream continues. Where I will be back on the moon with all the stars I had previously. Be in a bit. Okay, that should be enough time for it to be edited in. Welcome back. That was a fun fight, wasn't it? It was interesting, just chase him around. I feel really dumb, though, because that was in such an easy-to-find place, and I just completely ignored it. I feel silly about it. Very silly. But oh well. What's done is done. We still got it in the end, even if I had to reload a state and then redo everything I did last stream, but oh well, that's life. What's important is we're back, we have that star, and now we can go all the way up here and go to this level. And take fall damage somehow. Alright, the cliffs of saxophone scary? Okay, what are you? You are not something normal, okay. Beware of the radio tower. It blasts away any living being within its sight lines. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. I appreciate the... Ooh, one of these. Will this work against these guys? It will! Oh, nice! I can just shell these guys. Oh, that feels so good. Given how much trouble they give me sometimes, it feels good to... Ah, da, 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 da. Okay, I see where the... Uh, I see where an issue is. I cannot get close to that thing. Okay. I wonder how quick that is. Is that, like, instant? If it's on me too long, or am I good? Mostly. Do I... Can I still dodge it, even if it shoots me? That's the question. I'm hoping I can still dodge it, even if it shoots at me, but... I don't want to put my... I don't want to put too much stock in that. I'd rather play it safe. Hello, friend. After you came to our planet and defeated the Dark Star, all was well. All was well until the parasite moon showed its face to our world. Down with it came an idol. Everyone gazed upon it with awe. That's when the end of our world began. Dark Star. I'm wondering, is that, is that in reference to like a previous hack this person might have made? Boss. Ah! Oh god! I am... Okay, I'm somehow in its line of sight. What is this thing anyways? Okay, so it's basically the Eiffel Tower. Gotcha. I... I was thinking moon gravity for some reason. This is not moon gravity. Not even close. Who? Oh, well, no big deal. I sadly do not have the ability to Koopa Shell these guys. Even if I could go find another Koopa Shell, this is too high to jump to. There we go. Nice, easy 10 coins. I like that. I don't want to go up that way because I... The star thing is pointing that direction. I, uh... Huh. Should probably just not play risky. I should just... Okay, so that is definitely absolutely instant. That thing just snipes me no matter what. There's no dodging it. Gotcha. That's good to know. Okay, shot. I don't think this is going to... Wait, this actually might work. No. Okay. This thing's curved at just enough of an angle to make that not work. That's unfortunate. Okay, I can even walk. I can walk on this. I was wondering if that was a slope for a second. I wonder what the point of these things is. Can I maybe goad that lighthouse into shooting at them? Let's see here. I can. Okay. That's going to be a star for later. But later. Right now I want to focus on the hundreds and the reds. Ow. Cease! 
How am I gonna get this thing that's bow? Oh, that's a crystal, not a bubble. Whoops. I totally thought the crystal there was a bubble for a second. There we go. That stuff is definitely quicksand. Cannot touch it. I remember hearing the quicksand noises on that. Okay, so there's a ring challenge. Where did the rings spawn? I have no idea where the rings spawned, so I'm not exactly having an easy time with that. What? You jerk! Really not fond of them having firepower. There we go. Stun lock. Mario almost ran off an edge there. He was really trying to run off that edge. Gotta be honest with you, I would not have appreciated that. And there's the uh, thing I was looking for. That's where the rings are. Oh god, those rings are in some very awkward places. There you go. I will take the hit if it means getting that, uh... Taking the hit did mean getting the pink coin, and that's worth it. The coins are always worth it. I'm only 30 short of the 100 coins. That thing is useless since that just spawns rings. Where else can I go for coins now? Probably not up there, but I'll keep it in mind. Okay, this is where Pink Coin Star spawns. Good, good. That's where I lose my shell. Not so good, but also not that big of a loss. I am right next to this thing, aren't I? There we go. Wasted its shot. Very good. There we go. Got that. Alright, 21 coins and three pink coins. That shouldn't be too bad to get. I hope. Pink coins do have a history of being a little bit annoying for me. Run into some slight issues with those. That's a lot of green coins. I'll take them. Don't know why you would possibly need three lined up like that, but I won't complain. Hello, friend. The more cosmic seeds you remove from the grasp of Agamemnon, the weaker the emissions from the well become. Maybe if you weaken the well enough, you could jump in without being vaporized. Maybe then, and only maybe then, you may be able to put an end to this cycle of death. Well, I have 26 of them. I'm pretty sure I should be fine to get all of them. Not sure how many there are in the game, but 26 is a fair number, all things considered. Barely made it. I was worried I was going to get shot out in the middle of the quicksand area. Oh, I just saw a pink coin. And that's enough coins for the hundred. Nice. Go ahead and shoot me, mate. I don't mind. I would rather just eat this shot. Okay. Shot eaten. That gets me this cosmic seed. And then I can go for the two more pink coins that I need those are. Over there, perhaps? Might be up in these weird spots that I've been unable to get to. That's probably just the answer. Go to the places I haven't been to. Can't do anything about that. Though I suppose I could take a look around in the quicksand area. Well, I found out where the uh, blue coin switch is. Mario, Mario. Oh, I was close. I'll admit I was slightly worried Mario was about to fall off the edge there. Came close. Came very close. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the beginning area. This is where I started. I think. Let's go around this way. 
Okay, I remember all of this. Oh, I don't remember this note block, though. This is probably how I need to get up here. And hey, coins. And enemies I haven't killed, too. Not that I need any of that, since I'm at the hundred already, but whatever. Alright, so that's not going to work out that way. I'm going to have to land on the uh, handle of the microphone. That's the answer there. Oh! Okay, I can grab onto the tendrils. I'm going to be honest, I thought that little tendrils were things that would hurt me. I have to confess, I'm a bit surprised that they're not. Because they really look like the this thing hurts you sort of thing, and that was a absolutely embarrassing attempt at a jump. I am. That was a horrible attempt. I've got to do better than that. There. You would jump, dive, and then a long jump. Just eat the damage, and I'm not seeing a pink coin. But if I go over here, I might be able to see one from a distance. This is pretty high up, after all. I am not seeing anything. That's not... That's not a good sign at all. Oh dear. Not up there. Okay. Going up that way is not going to work for me. Uh, let's see, let's see. Where's there going to be a shell? I need to find a shell. Probably around here somewhere. Right, pretty sure the shell would be over this way. There we go. Oh! I ran out, like, the exact second that thing went off. That is terrible timing on my part. Absolutely embarrassing. Oh, no! I should have waited. Okay, well, I suppose we'll just forget about the pink coin star until it's actually time for pink coins. That was a skill issue. Mega skill issue. Okay, well, we'll just pretend that didn't happen, and we'll go for the stars in order now. Okay. That tragic accident out of the way. It's around here. Okay, keep in mind there's a coin there and there. And there's one up here, I think. No, I don't think there was one up here. Ah! He jerk! That's what you get. Bullying me. Okay. Now we're free, and yeah, there's not one up here. Okay, so I don't have to come up to this place. Will this... this will not protect me, will it? No, it will not. I had hoped it would. My hopes were in vain. There we go. Okay, just eat the hit here. And then... long jump and we're good. That one's easy enough. Shell shredding the sunken roofs. Sunken roofs. Okay, I imagine that's going to be the uh, uh, the golden ring thing. Now I just need to remember where that actually is, and I'm pretty sure it's. Well, I wanted to turn around and go another way, but. 
I just messed that up horribly. So we'll ignore that and just go this way. I gotta remember, I have the two times, I have the double running speed thing on. Long jumping just slows me down. I'm so used to normal movement where long jumping and diving is the best thing, but it's really not here. Okay, that's done. And now, go over here, where my lovely little friend, the Switch, is. Okay. Up here, over here. Oh no. This thing sucks! Okay. Over here, and then I gotta find two more. Oh no! There we go. Where are the other sunken roofs? Okay, there's one there, and I have no idea where the last one is. That's not good. Okay, maybe take a quick look around for the last one, or maybe not. Maybe I'll just go for it like this. We'll go in this order instead. Change things up. Going from a different direction might just help me out a little bit. Okay, wait for the explosion to be a bit audible, and then go at this, and then around this way. There's one. Here's one as well. Okay, this thing trying to kill me is definitely slightly on the old nerves. This begs the question of where the last one is. I haven't seen any other roots, so there, 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 there. Over here, perhaps? On the back side of this thing? Uh, that's gonna be a no. There's a coin here? Okay. I guess we warp. Oh! Okay, that's how I get to the top of the lighthouse, that's nice. I guess we're doing this now. That one-up is absolutely not worth going for. Ten coins in the pocket? Just not good enough to risk that. Two one-ups? Ooh, that's twenty coins. It makes it slightly more worth it, but not good enough. Sad to leave the 20 coins there, but I just can't justify it. Too much of a risk going all the way down there for just 20. Make it 30 and I'll consider it. There we go. Some nice... Ah. Okay, wall jumping this time. What? That was a horrible, horrible attempt at side flipping. Oh, no, no, Mario, please do not walk off edges. All right, that wasn't too hard. <laughs> Secret passageway to the windmill? Okay, let's try and figure out where these roofs are at this point. Because that's my main issue, is I don't know where they are. Oh, there's a red pink coin right here. Okay, so there's one there. One there, one there, one there. I'm not seeing where the last one is. I know it's not behind that thing. So one, two, three, four. But where is five? That's... Okay, one, two, three, four... Oh god! Oh no! Ooh. Went out from behind cover a little bit early there. That could have been bad. Ah, here's five. Okay, I see what I need to do now. That's good, that's good. 
It'll actually be a good idea to get that one quickly, I suppose. Rather, going behind there will just be good cover from the lighthouse that's shooting me. Okay, going this way, this is probably a good route. He says, not in any capacity certain in, of himself or his decisions. Uh, that pretty much cooks that. But yes, it is there. Okay, so that's at least something. I can't believe I lost my shell the way I did. That's just horrible. There we go. Okay, this time, surely. Surely I will get it this time. Instead of going that way, I'll go this way. And that way I'll go around here from this angle. This is probably the best route I could have gone for. Oh god! That thing, I was not expecting it to uh, shoot me from that angle, but okay. Going all the way around, probably not my wisest decision, but oh well. It's a decision I made nonetheless. Okay, go that way and then go this way, and then I just have to get that one. Am I going to succeed? Not a chance. Nope, not enough time, plus the tower is after me. I... I'm amazed that I did not fall into the, uh, thing there. Because I was absolutely certain I was going to. Gotta say, I wish there was a way to just go and... Oh dear. Emergency services. I think that's either a fire truck or just an emergency vehicle of some kind outside my apartment that I just heard. That's not good. Oh well. Probably nothing too bad going on in my general vicinity, hopefully. This is not the first time that I've heard emergency vehicles. It's actually quite common. Distressingly so, actually. It's like every... Like, at least a couple times a week, I'll probably hear fire trucks or police cars go flying past. Not usually sure why. Normally, nothing big enough happens for me to be aware of it outside of the I heard the vehicles go by. There's that shot. And then, can I go through here? I cannot. Ah! Camera! Okay, so going through that is not an option. I think my best option would be to just turn around, though. I think that's going to be shorter than going all the way around. Even if I don't have cover, if I go all the way around. Okay. That's the idea now. I'll wait for this thing to lock on to me, because I know it wants to. I will waste as much of it. I'll waste its timer out. There we go. Okay. Now, hopefully, that'll actually help me out a little bit. Will it? Uh, probably not. There's that. Oh, I can go through here instead. I don't need to go all the way back. That makes things a little bit easier. And then... Right here, I just need to wait this out. That was not waiting it out. Only get one bounce off of the, uh, quicksand. Okay. That's honestly really tough, just explicitly because that 
thing really gets in the way. It's hard to tell exactly when it's going to shoot. Like, I know when it's going to shoot. I can hear the indicator when the audio stops, but when it stops making its noise, but just barely difficult enough to tell for sure that I get paranoid when I see it locked onto me. Okay, let's try going this way again. Okay, that's bullshit. Okay, then we'll go this way and through here. Do things in this order instead. What? It wasn't even locked on to me. Nonsense. And that's not gonna make it. Shit. Okay, that was some nonsense. That thing wasn't even visibly on me and it just sniped me out of nowhere. But I think that's probably the order I want to go in. I think. I really hope so. It's definitely a unique challenge dealing with that thing home- with that thing just sniping me the moment I'm trying to do a star though. This is the only star here that's forcing me to actually put up with it for any appreciable amount of time. For the most part, I'm free to just sort of do my own thing, and maybe instead of trying to go in a circuit around everything, I'll just do these early ones right away. There we go. And we'll go all the way over here, hit that one, and then duck behind something. There we go. Duck behind here, wait for the shot. What? But it, it stopped making the noise. Ah, that's the thing. It stops making noise if it's not locked on to you. That's why it's so hard to tell when it's gonna shoot. And I can't just sit around for too long. Okay, let's try this again. I feel like this is definitely the right answer. Not if I do things like that, it's not. Ooh. Okay, there's that. Then I'll go like this, hit that one over there, and then duck behind that platform there. From here, I sh should be good to just wait things out. There we go. And now I should be able to get it. Maybe. This is gonna be tight. Very tight. No. No chance. No shot I'm making that. I'm like a couple seconds too slow. But that's probably the right order to do things in. I'm just slightly too slow on it. No big deal, I can fix that. Just need to optimize my movement slightly. Maybe start with that one. Yeah, that's the idea. I'll start with the one farther over that way. And then come back down that one, and then go up that one. Okay, come on. Lock on to me, thing. Come on. Why is it not locking? There it is. I was starting to think, is that thing glitched? Does it just decide to stop working? As much as it's absolutely annoying me and making things way harder, I would have felt bad if it broke. Because then I wouldn't have done the challenge legitimately. And I feel wrong if I don't do things legit. There we go. Okay, this is definitely the proper way. Now I'll be able to duck behind here just in time. There's the explosion. And we're good. No chance I'm gonna miss it this time. Unless I... I was gonna say, unless I missed that ring and had to restart, but that was definitely the correct order. Alright. 
we're good. And I'm gonna just wait. I could try to go fast over there, but I don't want to risk it. I've gotten blown up and sent into quicksand one too many times already. So I'm just gonna snatch the star and call it. Oh. That one was definitely a bit of a toughie. I liked it, though. Made me use the old brain. Shadow the Five Cosmic Orbs? Okay, we already know what this one is. Okay, I want the shell. And then this. I didn't really want to get shot by that thing, but okay. Went a little bit too far there. And here it is. Two. Hey, come on. You what? Come on, man, you were locking on to me earlier. Why did you suddenly stop? That's It never stopped locking on to me before. It was always like, no, I'm locked on to you. I can see you. There we go. And then there's one over here. I do not like the positioning of this one, especially now with this guy here. I think I want to kill that guy, because he's definitely going to be in the way. There we go. He's dead. And we're getting in the way from him. Okay, come on. Walk on to me, buddy. Thank you. There. That'll destroy that. I am comedically close to that edge. It's a good thing that thing doesn't have piercing damage, because if that went through that thing, I would have been caught. First off, get here so I'm safe, and then I'll probably head off this way. I don't think this area I've been to. At least not on this one. And correct, this is where I want to be. And as long as I'm on a safe island, might as well get rid of the shell and just use my normal movement. That way I don't have to keep jumping. What the? Ah! Okay, that's probably for later. Definitely for later. Actually, for that matter, there is a coin here. Okay, that's good to know. I'll keep that pink coin in mind. One of the two I was missing before. Pretty sure that's one of the two I missed before anyways. Okay, now I want to go over here because I'm... Pretty sure there's another one over this way. At least somewhere around here. Probably on the other side of this thing. Was I wrong? I think I was. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Go for the high ground. That'll help me look around. High ground is going to get me shot. Ah, but I was right. There is one over here. Just looking in the wrong section. And I made it, just in time. Okay, that's four out of five. Now, where's number five? Wall jumping up there wouldn't get me anywhere anyways. Oh, and it would have been a bad idea to begin with. Here's number five. Come on, lighthouse. Come on, Eiffel Tower. Lock on to me. Thank you. And there we go. That's game on this star. 
I managed to get 84 coins during that whole thing. Astounding. Wasn't even trying that hard. I was just picking up what I saw. Alright, that brings us up to almost full coins, so... We can upgrade. Level 8, maximum health and mana have increased, and wear more badges at once. And level up is no longer an option. Nice. We've reached max level. Which means all our coins from now on are just going to buy badges. Pink coins of the Isles? Alright. Time to get this one that I bungled before. Tragically. In an unfortunate quicksand-related incident. Okay. Go around this way. Grab this, since I know this is one that I missed last time. Uh, stay over here until that thing stops shooting me. Okay. Then I will... Uh, lose my shell unintentionally. Okay, now I'll go around to this island. Because I know there's pink coins here. I remember them. Pretty sure there's at least two on this island. Not sure where specifically, though. Not up here. There. There, and then there's the uh, other one that we saw down that way. In the... Uh, in the little hole over there. And nothing else this way, okay. There's this pink coin, and... I'm, I'm pretty sure there's no pink coins up this way, but I do want to check. It could be anywhere, after all. Okay, nothing up this way. Because I know they're not uh, on the platform over there by the other star. Right, right. There's no shell over here. It's this way. I have to go all the long way around. Ooh. For a second there, I thought I was going to get shot in midair. I remembered there being the, the uh, gap there, but I was like, I'm not there yet, am I? I was absolutely there. I had to pull a little side foot back away from it. Close call. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. What can I do? This island is where I started, and I know I got the pink coin on top of it. And I went that way and around. Okay. So from here, I will go to this island. No, that island is where the pink coin star spawns. So I think I'll go the other way. Okay. So around here, there's that one there. Okay. There we go. Cheeky little wall jump up, do this, and... There we go. Uh, pretend I don't exist for a second. Thank you. Okay, so that gets me five. And I can wall jump up here, which I admittedly never really considered. Okay, here's the last one that I missed. Okay, that explains a lot. I'll just wait patiently, let Mario get shot on the ground so he doesn't get shot in midair. I don't think Mario appreciates me just standing there and letting him get shot, but he can heal off of it with coins, so it's fine. Wait, and... I almost jumped, I almost jumped right into that thing, that would have been horrible. 
Okay, take the shell, and now it should be easy to just get to this island and collect what's left. Because I know there's the pink coin here, and I'm pretty sure there's another one on here on the other side of it. There we go. Okay, and over here. There we go, there's the seven. Nice. I was worried that I was going to have to spend a long time looking for the last one, but luckily I found it pretty quickly. The uh, one that was up on those pillars. Because I remembered the rest of them. I just didn't know about that one. Alright, and time for whatever the last star is here. Perhaps destroying the tower? Cosmic eruption? Right, right, right. The volcano. I completely forgot about that for a second. Alright. Let's go get spat out of a volcano, I suppose. Mario likes that. Lethal Lava Land is proof of that fact. Okay, that thing's hitbox extended further than I thought. Okay, this is, uh, okay, it is rising. You know, this actually reminds me of Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, that thing in the Lost Precursor City where you have to run up the, uh, silo before the Dark Eco fills up. Always used to stress me when I was a, oh my god, Mark. when I was a youngin', because I, I was bad with timed things, but... Nowadays, it's not so bad. This one's still pretty bad, though, because this requires a significant degree of skilled platforming. Not a huge amount, but it's enough. And honestly, it's really easy to make one tiny mistake, like I almost did there, but that was mercifully short, actually. I thought that was going to take longer. It did not, thankfully. Nice. All right, so where's course 15 going to be? That's the question. Because I've done the blue, red, and yellow TVs. Yahoo! Is course 15 just down there, perhaps? Yeah! That might actually be it. I'll take a look. Okay, so lesson learned. I can't jump into that thing. I have to avoid the lights. Okay, that is actually the last thing. Red Trial, Trials of Terminus. Okay. I, one, oh, you are greeted. We are a powerful culture. We have embraced the macroviral organism, Agamemnon. It has sought our wisest. It makes use of our powerful technology in our absence. Maintain the structure. The endoskeleton makes use of type 2 technology, however the exoskeleton makes use of rudimentary type 1 civilizational technology, should minor damage need be repaired. The exhaust expunges unnecessary quasi-light from inner core ribosomes, synthesizing the seeds. It was additionally used as a propellant before the introduction of the exoskeleton. The light waste is collected around the upper mantle delta class and below biological entities should refrain from interfacing with it. What class is Mario, I wonder? In the absence of our prophet, the architect, a prophet slash prophet appointee from a type 2 ionosphere communications possessing type I civilization, type 1 civilization rather, may assume the role of maintenance. The cell always assumes its prime directive. Permission of introducing additional external organelles is granted. Working through or around the crust is permitted. Interfacing with the nucleus is forbidden. Okay. So I'm going to interface with the nucleus via my fist, most likely. The screen project is successful. The eye is a non-threatening symbol of control for roughly 80% of type 1 civilizations. It is now easier for cosmic seeds to find their candidates. Interesting. Alright. Oh, red trial it is. Ooh. Okay, this is cool. Got some Mario Galaxy level, uh, 
uh, rotational stuff going on here. I like that. Whoop. I haven't played every Mario 64 hack out there, but I think this is the first time I've seen something similar to this guy. At least, in a hack I've played. Ooh. It is a little bit weird looking, the depth perception there, but that's just N64 stuff. I like that, that's a really cool idea. Impressively done as well. Yellow Trial. Why do I feel like this is going to be quicksand related? I thought wrong, this is pyramid related. Okay, okay, long jumps are not enough for me to, uh... Long jumps are not enough for me to get the height I need to ledge grab. I thought they would be. Oh, there we go. Do, 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 do. Oh. Uh, okay, that's not in any capacity how that was meant to be done, but I'll take it. Oh, no! Oh! Ooh, I see what this wants. And I failed miserably. What the? Ah. Uh, I hate this power up sometimes. Because you want to hold your A button to get a max jump height. But if you hold it in any capacity with this thing, then you rock it. Oh, close call that time. Thank you for the excellent ledge grab, Mario. I appreciate your uh, efforts to get this working right. Oh, oh. I could have saved that if I'd been jump kicking. This... Oh, this bullet bill head makes me not... I'm so used to holding the jump button as long as I can to get my height. I don't think it lasts long enough for me to do that. Oh, I almost landed it. I'm honestly kind of scared to move at this point. Put this thing on. It's so sad this is supposed to be a power-up, but it makes me feel too scared to do anything cool. Okay. Okay, that's going to be tougher than I want to admit. What? Why did it... Why didn't it activate that time? Okay, I don't really understand why it didn't activate those couple of times, but okay. It's all good, I suppose. It, I can still get up without it. I'm, I'm just getting confused now. Threads the needle in the worst possible way. Okay, let's try doing it like this.
Will this make it? Yes! Okay. That slight little bit of nightmare is done. And now I can do the exact same thing over here. Uh... Oh, of course it's quicksand now. That stings. That stings more than I care to admit. Okay. Let's see if I can get this a bit more consistently this time. Okay. Grab that. Hey, now that I'm not using that thing that throws me off, I can just do my little uh, ledge grab cheese there. Very nice. Okay, I did a lot better that time. First try, much, much better. Still doesn't make me feel too good about what's coming up here, though. Okay, at least I got a thirsty that time. Okay, made it. Very good. Why does that say... Why does that thing have a flippy thing on it? It must mean to turn around, that's at least what I'm thinking. Don't you dare. Well, turning around is not going to get me anywhere there, so... Uh... Oh! Oh, that's why it has a flippy thing on it. It turns. Okay, that makes sense. I thought this was going to be too much of a slope for me to uh, stand on. Uh, apparently, I was wrong. Okay, I wasn't really ready for that, but I'm glad that's how it went. Okay, the yellow trial was a lot easier than it could have been. I was expecting it to be worse after... The amount of trouble I had getting up there the first time. There we go. Green trial. Okay, what's the green trial gonna be? Oh! Ooh! Okay. I see what this is. Test of my 2D platforming skills. No invisible blocks there to trap you. That's good, that would actually be kind of a really bad decision in Mario 64, since there's no timer to run out. Terrible performance. Ah, uh, okay, so there's a thing you can do where you backflip off of a ledge, and if you go far enough out, you can uh, actually go forward and ledge grab, or if not ledge grab, a wall jump off of it. I've seen it used a few times. I've even done it a few times. I think that maybe doing it there was just not a good idea. Doing complex movement when, you know, doing a complex move when a simple move was a lot more, uh, was perfectly adequate and thus optimal to do the simple move instead of trying to be complicated and do a cool guy move. There we go, there's a first, uh... Come on, ledge grab- why am I not ledge grabbing? Oh, 
Does Mario just have a thing against ledge grabbing these yeah. days? Oh. That's why. These are actually solid platforms. That explains a lot. I thought those were just, like, uh... I thought these things were just, uh... Background elements. The, uh, grates. Kind of like, uh, Super Mario World things, where they're only there if you choose to interact with them. Uh-oh. Okay. Better idea. I'm gonna go back. And try to go for a, uh, speedy jump thing here. Yeah, going for the speedy jump is my best option, I think. And that's not gonna work. Okay, I have to actually jump earlier. For some reason I decided, oh no, I'm totally not losing speed when I... Uh, finish sliding? I absolutely am. Okay, there's the ledge grab. Okay. I was overcomplicating it again. I was absolutely able to just do a ledge grab. I just didn't do the triple jump well enough. He's slipping up and failing, as usual, overcomplicating things that were honestly quite simple. It's really a problem for me, I like to overcomplicate cyan trial. And what's cyan trial gonna be? Oh god, it's one of these things, okay. I'll wait as long as it takes, there we go, 99 seconds deal with this stupid existence. Hate snake blocks. Nobody likes snake blocks. Ah! You're not getting away from me. Glad I saw that coming, because I was entirely about to just sit there and wait for the snake block to come up to me. That would have been a bad idea. Uh-oh. Okay, at least it's nice enough to throw you out of the stage if you fail that one, because waiting for the snake block or having to... I don't know if the snake block would respawn, actually. But being stuck waiting for it would just be a nuisance. Okay, let's try this one again. Alright, snake block. I just need to not bungle the wall jump section like I did. Which should hopefully not be too, too hard. Oh god! I don't know why I wall jumped there! I totally forgot how that section went. Oh my god, I did that, like, literally a minute ago, and I forgot already how it went. I'm an old man, my memory is not what it used to be, I guess. RIP. Okay. Let's try this again. Yeah, so first I have to just be patient and wait. And then I go down like this. Up here. Do my quirky little uh, triple jump up there. And then I come back here and just sort of wait for this thing. Here it is. 
Okay, I'm gonna go like that, get up here, and do some wall jump shenanigans. What the? Okay, I don't know why my angle was so bad there, but okay. That's honestly kind of tragic. I really didn't realize my angle was so badly off. Okay. Try again. Keep going. Keep bashing my head against the wall until I get it. I'm surprised that worked as well as it did. I totally thought I wasn't going to get up there. I thought I was going to have to try again. Which would have been bad, because this is actually kind of tight. I don't have a whole lot of time to be making mistakes here. And this definitely goes up too high for me to jump from there. I ground pounded too early. I don't know why I even went for the ground pound, if I'm to be honest with you. I just sort of did. Ah! Uh, camera? Thank you, camera. Camera was getting kind of in my way there. Honestly, the only thing that lightly frustrates me about failing this trial over and over is the fact that I have to wait on the snake block. If it wasn't for the snake block, I'd be fine with it, but because it's the snake block, I can't move at my own pace, and that makes me sad. <laughs> Mario, don't triple jump! I don't know why I'm blaming Mario, that was entirely my own fault. I chose to do a triple jump input, and I don't have a good reason for it. Okay. Right, right, can't do that. I've got a few little jumps there. Okay, made it up here, that's good. Uh, gotta say, I don't really think I like this section, and the way this looks. Especially because these are some very, uh, different, like, these are some dark colored blocks. It's hard to see my, uh, shadow on them, but I managed. Oh my god. And I can't take the, uh, thing down. Okay, you know what? At the very least, these, uh, black rectangles are here to let you know exactly where you need to fall. Thank god. Okay, the cyan trial is passed. Now that the snake block is done, there's no way anything else could possibly be worse, right? I'm gonna regret saying that. I'm really gonna regret saying that. Oh boy. Okay, blue trial. Oh, okay, this is very much blue. Okay, uh, Mario's gonna drown and die. Oh, oh god, it's pink coins underwater? Okay, so going straight forward and down gets me one. I hope everybody here likes uh, Mario's drowning animation, because we're going to be seeing it a lot. Okay, there's a big uh, thing there. That is a uh, giant water eyeball. I don't think I like that. And you know what? We are not going to drown again. Because I can ab I can just use the gills badge. And actually, for that matter. I 
don't believe I need the fall damage badge, so I'll go with the fins badge as well. Badge is coming in mighty handy right now. Never thought I'd use the gills badge, actually, because I didn't you I never got it until I was done with the uh, pirate ship stage. So I was like, oh, I probably won't need that. I was wrong. This is huge. Massively useful. Okay. And right here at the end, too. I'm glad this became useful at the end. And... Oh. Okay, there's a air pocket up here. Cool. I like air pockets, even though I technically don't need it now. Do, 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 do. I'm really happy I remembered the gills badge because I was absolutely... I could have forgotten about that easily. And I would have just kept throwing myself at this and suffering. I'm glad I didn't do that. Did I just see a way up? I did not. I'm delusional. Okay. Let's go this way. Five. What about over here? Is this anything? It is not. Okay. Oh, there's one. Six. Oh, and seven. Very nice. Six and seven close together. Ah! Hello, giant eyeball. You are not a friend. Is this the same air pocket from before? Yes. Okay. Uh, camera? Camera's acting slightly weird there. It was letting me look through some walls, but not others. Strange. Oh well. Got all eight of the coins. And I'm gonna say right now, without the, uh... Without the gills badge, that would have been a much bigger problem for me. I'm glad it didn't become an issue. Glad I bought the gills badge all that time back. Okay, the thing that I'm confused about now, though... I have the star radar badge on, I'm pretty sure, so why is it not showing me where the star is? Like, it's not that big of a deal, it's easy enough to find, but I'm curious as to why it stopped showing me that after the star spawned. Very weird. Oh well. Not that big of a deal. Now the pink trial. Last one. Five out of three? What? Oh. Oh, I must only have to do three of these. Okay, that makes sense. So I have to do three of them. I got done five, and I can't imagine a possible purpose for that cannon. So it was do five, three of them at least to be able to unlock the boss, I guess. I did five. And this is Bob on Battlefield. Very nice. That's awesome. And you know what? This is probably where 100 coins is an option as well. This 100 coins is definitely a star here. It's just a question of actually finding out where to get 100 coins in such a level. And I think this is definitely where. There we go. Especially since I can't go back to other uh, parts of it. And there was no shot I was getting 100 coins in any of those other areas. Hey, he hit me, I hit him. He hit me right into him, very nice. Ow. Ah, same thing, hit me into himself. What? There is that, and that, and we're at 46 coins. Very nice, very nice. Do, 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 do. 
You know, it's really good that I found out I can kill these guys in that uh, other stage last time, because if I didn't realize that then, that would have made things a little bit awkward now. I imagine now is when I would have figured it out, but still. Definitely would have been awkward. Okay, ow. Okay. He stopped moving, thank god. You know, I'm wondering, is getting 100 coins actually just the star for this trial, or... No, no, the, tr the star for this trial must be just up at the top of bob Ong's hill. And I'm still using the gills badge. I do not need the gills badge right now. Or the fast swimming badge, for that matter. I should remember to take those off before I go to the final boss fight. Because I do not want to have those on when I could be making use of other badges. Ah! I think I might go for the fire defense badge since I remember Showrunner used fire and I'm pretty sure the other bosses did as well. At the very least I know for a fact Showrunner used fire so that and the uh, defense badge might be good. Come on. Stop being up on a slope that I can't reach you on. You suck. Okay, he stopped. Good. And the backwards tummy slide right onto him. Very good. Stylish indeed. Alright, and that's the 100 coin star here. Wait, was that... That actually kicked me out? That was the pink trial? Really? Huh. Okay, I'm actually a little bit surprised about that. Heart of Agamemnon. Okay, I thought that... I thought that was going to be a bit different. But oh well. So six out of three. So yeah, this just requires getting three of these things. Okay. Now what is this? Demon TV head things? Okay. Oh, should be reading. So I was on six over there, so this will be seven. Agamemnon may form nerve connections with equipment. That's weird. All devices are to be accessible from the nervous trees within the crust. Okay. Cosmic seeds may form nerve connections with equipment. They have quickly managed to adopt the intent and utilize technology towards the mission. That uh, explains a lot of things that I'm seeing here. The screen seems to etched into a signal replicated and sent through the crust nerve connections. While not evolved like one, it appears to function similarly to a neural network. Once Agamemnon reaches over 6,500 kilometers in radius, Jesus Christ, that's big, experiment with letting it process information. Cosmic seeds inherit data from the nervous system, which influences the development of the hosts. It may result in visual noise or a variation of the screen being constructed. Any changes to this pattern are to be taken note of. And I forgot to change my badges, so I'm going to do that once I finish reading. The Palamedes project is permitted. Instances of Palamedes should only be created from Delta-class organisms. Instances of Palamedes are to be deployed in case a Type 2 civilization threatens Agamemnon. Oh, this one was first, okay. Find it easy. Cosmic Seeds find it easy to utilize objects resembling the screen. The screen also is far more likely to manifest on creatures which are docile, easier to influence. Mario is very much not docile. Okay, so I've seen 12. I'm looking for 13. Here's 13. Avatars assume control over prophets, while prophets assume control over hosts. Should this order be upset, or should the prophet fail to establish an avatar, instances of Palamedes are to be deployed. Attention is transmitted from the avatars to Agamemnon. So long as there is a transmissional connection, the avatar can help gather attention. Thus, avatars should assume the easiest form to possess on a given world. 
be it spectral, spiritual, digital, conceptual, or mimetic. In the event of the destruction, absence, or compromisation of both Avatar and Prophet, instances of Palamedes are to be deployed. Blah blah blah, hey there Superstar, I assume it's you. If it's not, I'm getting killed. But hey, if it is you, I'm still getting killed. So what's the harm in that? All of the eggheads who ran this place got palamedes And guess who is the only one qualified to be here? Me. Well, at this point, this place runs itself. The moon taught itself how to run its own lab. Too bad it doesn't know how to read. If you did make it this far, congrats. You're going to get torn in half by Palamedes. Should that not happen, however, there is a little showrunner special to help you out there. Now again, if I placed it there to harm the nucleus, I would literally die. But you're not getting past me, so it's absolutely fine. See you never, Superstar. Star, send tweet. Send tweet, my god, he hit me with the send tweet. I can't believe that. Okay. Exit the stage. Get rid of these two badges. And get rid of that one. And that one. And that one, since I'm pretty... Actually, I'll hold on to that, just in case there are bottomless pets. I don't need lava damage reduction. I'll take the fall damage, just in case. And the burn badge. I guess the squish badge could be nice to have, and defense badge, sure. Let's go with all of that build. Is that a good idea? Hell of I know, probably not. I think the defense badge as a whole might... I'm not sure how the, de how, how the defense badge will interact with having fire badge on. Like, does the fire defense badge take priority? And only do a little bit of mana damage? Or am I getting... Or am I gonna have to lose all of my mana to the defense badge first? Do they stack and just reduce the damage even further by just draining the hell out of my mana? It's a very interesting question. But oh well. Let's go down the elevator, see what the final boss is gonna be. Okay, that thing's not a friend. And I'm guessing that's what I need to destroy. Okay. Uh, let me take a quick drink first. <clears throat> the sustenance of thought is required to synthesize further seeds. It is gathered by the heralds. The Earth's inner core will be consumed. Your world is Agamemnon. No. I reject that theory. Oh, that thing's actually coming after me. At pretty decent speed, I suppose. And there's me taking fall damage. Good thing I have the anti-fall damage badge on. Which it seems takes priority over the uh, defense badge. I think defense badge probably takes... Has bottom priority and only goes... It only gets activated on things that are not covered by other badges. That would make sense, I suppose. There. I like this tune. And I would rather not try and wall jump there with him doing that, so I'm just gonna... Tr I'm gonna go back and try this again, shall I? Okay. So far, this doesn't seem like it's too bad, just a platforming challenge that I keep failing, but... Who knows? This guy's probably gonna unleash some stuff on me later. Ah! He made a good effort on me there. Okay, so it's just fly into it. That's easy enough, and it's bleeding. You know what? The gills badge might have actually been good here. I was not expecting to get bled on- Ah! Ah! Oh god, Bowser, really? Why am I dealing with an evil Bowser? Or evil Bowser. I mean, Bowser is normally evil, but whatever. Why am I dealing with this, and how do I deal with him? 
How do I damage this? Oh. Okay, that's not gonna work. Uh, this one maybe? Oh, okay, I just have to destroy those. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Uh, uh oh. I don't know where I can get in. Or where I can actually, uh. Okay, I have to go over there. But I also want to take evasive action because this is a dangerous place. I really wish I had the Gills badge on. Not the Gills badge, the, uh, fast swimming badge. Okay, made it there. He's coming after me, but that's no big deal because I'm all the way over here. There, and then long jump. Barely make it. Okay, this is definitely picked up a bit. I like the background being the, uh... uh I don't like uh, that guy appearing in my camera, but I like the background with the uh, faces and the heads that we kept seeing on the screen. Just sort of, like, being red and... I'm amazed he missed me there. Okay, I need to back off and come at this again from a better angle. Okay, there and there we go. Made it. Okay. More blood. And here I am to... Oh, this guy. Okay, it's this thing, not Bowser. I like that it's a different boss each time. That's very cool. But... So I'm guessing I'm going to need to escape this one more time, which is probably going to be avo avoiding Showrunner since he's the other uh, major boss that I can remember. There we go. Out of this, and over there is the answer. I need to get all the way over there while dodging this guy. I'm surprised at the fact that I haven't taken any major hits yet. It's just been little bits of fall damage. I'm doing very surprisingly well for this. Like a little bit of fall damage, sure, and... I kind of bungled some jumps at the start, but I'm doing way better than I could be. Wow, and I already get this thing. Already, he says, as he starts to miss that. I'm amazed that counted, because the side of that thing was absolutely hitting me. The side of that barrier absolutely hit me. Oh my god, I'm gonna get sniped. And there's Shellrunner, as expected. Okay, and he's gonna do this to me, okay. Uh, luckily, this isn't really too hard to deal with. It was harder to deal with in the actual fight because of the spikes on the ground that were damaging me and the mooks that he summoned on the last one, but that wasn't too bad at all. Oh! Really? That was it? I didn't need to get another hit on the heart? I totally thought I needed to hit the heart again. Okay, I guess I didn't. I'll take it. I'll be honest, I thought it was going to be one more hit on the heart. It was like, escape that, do one more really tough platforming challenge, and get the last hit on the heart? I guess not. I'll take it. Big gamer win. I like it. Rover, main developer, did an excellent job. Rationalist, creative lead, writer, extra model help. Same. Thorn Dust, SPK, and Arctic Jaguar 725 composes and arrayed and arranges of the soundtrack, Axolion, Hacker SM64 port, Skybox code, Boomer to Cat, Castle painting art, cover art, The Moon is Falling in the background, I like that, Bioback, title screen, model, and greenery textures, Anonymous Moose, Better Extended Bounds, Metal Env Cap, uh, Map Texture, I missed the other thing, Someone 269, Shiftable Segments Patch, Crash Override, 
Helped add rumble pack support. This has rumble pack support? Cool. Hero Technique, badge art for the first 12 badges. Iro J, additional badge art, ladder 12 badges, improved textures. SPK, skull head from Spooky Mario 666 for pirate Mario costume, an extra something help. A wise guy A, world space to screen space math, most of this model. We're gonna ignore the fact that Earth is probably being destroyed at the moment. Arthur Tilly, platform deplacement stuff. Rihonu N64 widescreen warp floors. Falco Buster world precision fix? Not sure what a world precision fix is, but oh well. Yoshi Milkman SMW Rex model. I did like seeing Rex. The Cozy's Spline Tool N64 float denorm fixes. Cow Quack NFX help tempo change code. Furious Fight City Textures. Zinus 22, Half Life 1, I'm guessing. Zen Textures. Rip. Some other stuff. Blakeorama, Optimized Course 1 Collision Match. Egg Lab 2, Hacker SM64, Exclamation Box, Shadow Bug Fix. Inspector J, Day Garwood, N Grober. Rain SFX, Crowd SFX, some other stuff that I missed. Beta Testers, Phase 0, Phase 1, and Phase 2, my god. Patrons as a 522, 23. Hey, the patrons! Henry Kumpel, Special Thanks. YHWH family, my three brothers, chillin', rationalist, simple flips, shoutouts to the man himself. The absolute legend and Thank you so much for the play. Man, that is game. it. That was an amazing hack. Everyone involved in this did a great job of it. I like the level up, the courses were really fun, the badges were a cool mechanic. The bosses were awesome. Just everything about this was a really good hack, and I'm happy to have played it. Very happy. And with that all said and done, that is the end of the hack and the end of the stream. Ah, hit the wrong thing. Thank you all for being here. I hope you've all had a wonderful time. Take care, and I will see you later, especially since my uh, emulator just kind of crashed. I'm really happy it crashed now and not earlier. That would have been terrible. First time I think my emulator's ever crashed at a good moment. Alright, thank you all for being here, and take care. See you later.